Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday, January 21st, 2019. I'm Mr. Geralds. And I'm Tate Owens. And that right there was Dr. Martin Luther King on his I Have a Dream speech, and we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, when he did uh, the famous speech uh, at the uh, March on Washington. So at this time, let's pause for a moment of silence to begin January 21st. Let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Tate, we had a two-hour delay today due to those frigid temperatures outside. What's going on out there? Well, the weather is a high of 16 degrees, which is cold. Very cold. Cold than last week. And with totally cloudy skies. And the wind chill this morning was in the negatives. And then did you know last night uh, there was a, um, a full eclipse at around 1230 last night. So um, I was not up for, to see that. I got uh, woken up by my mom. Oh, really? Yes. Did you see it? Yes. Was it pretty neat? Did, yeah. or were you able to see it? Yeah, I don't know if I saw the eclipse point. I know I saw the blood moon. Okay. Yeah. I Very neat. How about in the uh, cafeteria today, Tate? What are we having? Uh, we're serving a cheeseburger, uh -huh. baked beans, fruit, veggies, and, of course, milk. Awesome. No birthdays today. However, we had two over the weekend. Oh, yes. Devin Dudley and Deviana Dudley. Happy birthday to Devin and Deviana. Hey, so as we get set for this week, our second step focus this week on, uh, throughout the week, will be same and different feelings. Uh, we all want... Uh, to have friends here at Blue Academy, but people have similar or different feelings about the same situation. For example, Tate, I might feel scared to climb up high and you might feel excited. Learning to respect other people's feelings can help us make and keep friends. This week, notice other people's feelings and whether they're the same or different from yours. And our quote today uh, happens to be from Martin Luther King, the time is always right to do the right thing. So. That, that is, I mean, that doesn't just have to be today. The time is always right to do the right thing, and as long as we are following our Hawks Act expectations, great things are going to take place. Now, I've got a special, special deal today where with our positive referrals. We've got quite a few, but at the end, I'm going to tell you why this is so special today. The first one, Josiah Marble. Josiah kindly helps other students who may be having difficulty learning a new concept. He is very patient, respectful, in the way he goes about providing this support. Thank you, Josiah. You are a wonderful teacher. Mrs. S, Mrs. R.C., and the sixth graders say, Mrs. S is such a positive addition to the classroom environment. She jumps in and helps where needed without being asked. We, the students, and I both can always count on Mrs. S uh, and her support uh, each other and every day and is greatly appreciated. Mrs. Davis, Brooklyn Harper says, Mrs. Davis is always following the Hawks' expectation and is always on task. I cannot ask for a better teacher. Great job, Mrs. Davis. Mohammed M., Mrs. Ross said on Friday afternoons, without being told, Mohammed helps clean up the classroom by putting the up chairs and picking up trash. Thank you, Mohammed. Phoenix Logan, Mrs. Ross says, Friday afternoons, without being told, Phoenix helps clean up the classroom by wiping down desks and putting up chairs. Marley Schisler, Mrs. Fuller says, Marley is always so kind and caring. A student was visibly upset and Marley asked what was wrong. She always is going out of her way to show kindness and compassion. Kaz Hicks, Mr. Power says, Kaz, Kaz was able to recognize and correctly name all 50 states in less than one minute. Another one, Maddie Schaefer, a student dumped pencil shavings on the floor and Maddie jumped up and grabbed the broom and dustpan. She helped clean the entire room. Great job, Maddie. Sadiq. When Sadiq noticed that his friend had dropped their uh, chips at lunch, Sadiq was nice enough to offer to share his own with them. Um, he always was quick and mop up the mess when he accidentally spilled his milk. Way to show Hawks expectations, Sadiq. Gabby from Miss Perkins' class. Miss uh, Bersani says, Gabby is always willing to work with others and was super helpful cleaning up others' messes when her table uh, was clean. Miss Edwards, Miss Tullis says, Miss Joyce uh, helped with a student when the student was upset. She didn't have to, but she did, and I appreciate your help. Kaiden Bunch, Kaiden, Miss Tullis says, Kylan helped a fellow classmate uh, that had missed her breakfast. 
Uh, he gave her a cinnamon roll and found an extra orange juice for her. Way to go, Kaiden. Liam Whittle. Liam. Miss Gross and Miss Cook said, Liam worked very hard this week. We are so proud of his positive choices. Keep up the hard work. Uh, Gavin Lowry. Miss Cook says, Gavin saw a first grader uh, with exceptional needs. Had to get water all over him on the floor uh, from washing his hands. He went into the cafeteria, got a mop, and mopped up the water. Gavin uh, put up the two signs so no one would slip and fall. Great job, Gavin. And with that, all of these takes our positive referrals for the year. Over 500 positive referrals. This is outstanding stuff, Blue Academy. Great job. Looking forward to celebrating with all the scholars and staff uh, down at the main office at the conclusion of announcements. Now, as this is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, uh, Martin Luther King is best known for a few things, Tate. His real name was Michael King Jr., and his dad switched his name to Martin Luther King. Uh, he's best known for campaigning for the rights of African Americans during the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s. Uh, Martin Luther King had his first experience of segregation at the age of six years old when he was told he wasn't allowed to play uh, with some of his white friends. Six years old, Tate. Uh, it was his first uh, experience with segregation. His first major role in the civil rights movement came in 1955 after an African-American lady, Rosa Parks, was arrested for refusing to give up her seat uh, on a bus. Um, and, he, uh, and after 381 days of protest, a court finally ruled that such segregation law should no longer be recognized. Uh, Martin, Martin uh, was a great believer in peaceful protest, and in 1963, uh, Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech at a famous rally named March on Washington. Over 250,000 people gathered in the country's capital to hear Martin and other activists speak. And in 1964, ni uh, 99 years after the ab uh, abolition of slavery, the Civil Rights Act was passed. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in 1968 in Tennessee, where he had given a speech the day before. Uh, but Martin Luther King Jr. is remembered for his tireless work during the Civil Rights Movement and his dream that one day everyone would be treated as equal. So on this day, as we remember uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, it's very important to think about uh, his quote today, the time is always right to do the right thing, not just today, but every day, not only at the Blue Academy, but around our Decatur Township community. So with that, Tate, let's get our Monday started. What do you think? It's going to be a quick day, right? Yeah, especially oh, with the two-hour delay. That's right. Hey, everybody, have a great day. Continue to follow the Hawks' expectations, and always remember, together we are Decatur Proud. Have a great day, everybody.